kijeshi na ulemavu wa macho. Kigame alitumia fursa hiyo kuisuta serikali iliyopo akisema kuwa shule hiyo imetelekezwa kwani vifaa vinavyohitajika kutumiwa na wanafunzi wao havipo licha ya kuwepo na mfumo mpya wa CBC. Aidha Kigame alipuuzilia mbali usemi wa farasi mbili akisitiza kuwa yeye yuko mbioni kunyakuwa kiti cha urais. Daniel Dendebe na taarifa zaidi. Mwaniaji wa kiti cha urais mwimbaji Ruben Kigame mapema leo alizuru kaunti ya Kisumu na kutembelea shule ya kibosi ya wanafunzi wanaoishi na ulemavu wa macho. Kigame alitumia fursa hiyo na kuisuta serikali akisema kuwa licha ya fedha katika sekta ya elimu kutengwa shule hiyo imetelekezwa kwa muda sasa kwa ni vifaa vinavyohitajika kutumiwa na wanafunzi havipo. Uh, both uh, primary and uh, high school the high school was not there when I was here. But I'm encouraged to see some little development. There has been tremendous expansion. But going through the school, visiting the classrooms, visiting uh, the, the dining hall, visiting the dormitories, I realize that the same buildings I left here in the 70s are pretty much what is still here. There has been no attention to develop this one out of five or six institutions in the country in order to make it possible for the school to function. We know that there are allocations to education and we know that there are allocations to schools and especially special education but my question seems to be how could we have so much allocated since I was here in the 70s until now and the school remains the same? I'm also concerned about the fact that the young children, about four to seven years old, have no play equipment. It was all broken. And I hope the government can pay attention to the fact that every child deserves holistic education. I'm very concerned as we move towards CBC how much the government has done to prepare schools for the blind for that adjustment.